In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the following built-in statistical Excel functions. Sum if, sum ifs, count if, and count ifs. This table here shows us the performance of salespeople over a period of months. Now of course these salespeople are selling cars. Each row or record shows us the detail of any one particular sale. The sales column shows us how much each car was sold for. Suppose we want to know the total amount of sales made by the salesperson named Bob. I'll do that. I'll display that information by going to cell G2. I'll double click in the cell. Every formula begins with an equal sign and I'm going to be using the sum if built-in Excel statistical function. Now this function has got three arguments. The first argument is the range. The range of cells. And that's going to be A2 to A18. It's within that range I'll be searching for the name Bob. And I get that from F2. Commas separate the arguments. In the third argument, I'll tell the function where data can be found that needs to be added. And that's in that fourth column there, D2 to D18. I'll close the brackets. Now I'm entering this formula in a table and uh, I want to be able to perform an auto fill down operation using this formula. I don't want that cell range to change during the auto fill operation. So using dollar signs, I convert the cell reference so that I'm using an absolute cell reference. And that third argument there has to be in the form of absolute cell references using dollar signs. That'll stop these cell references from changing. But I want F2 to remain as a relative cell reference. Now I press enter and I get the value of 83,000. Now I'll check that. I'll click anywhere inside this table. I'll go to data. And what I'll do, I'll go back to the table and just click on anywhere in the uh, name column. Then go back to data and click on sorting A to Z. So I've got all the bobs together, all the bob records together. And here are the sales figures for bob. There's three of them. And going down here to the status bar, I can see that the sum is 83,000. And that's the figure produced by my formula. So I'll auto fill down and work it out for the other salespeople. I'll now work out the salary for Bob. Bob gets to keep 10% of that money. So it's the total sales figure for Bob multiplied by the commission. And I want that to be an absolute 
cell reference, an absolute address, and I'll auto fill down and work out the salary for the other workers. I just want to recap what I've done so far with sum if. So basically, what sum if did is it went to this region here, D2 to D18, and it did some adding. But it only added up these three figures here because they were the ones that had the value Bob in cells A2 to A18. And that was the range. That was the place where I was looking for F2, where I was looking for Bob. So now I'll go here to cell G10. It's here where I try to work out the total number of Nissans that were sold. I'll double click in the cell G10. Every formula starts with an equal sign. This time I'll use the built-in statistical Excel function count if. Now this has two arguments and I go here to C2 across to C18 and it's in this range of cells where I'm looking for Nissan F10 close the brackets I want F10 to be a relative cell address but as for the range that needs to be absolute so I'll put dollar signs to make sure that that doesn't change during the autofill operation this is the number of Nissans that were sold I'll double click on the fill handle here and what I'll do is I'll click in this column uh, for car anywhere in that column go to data and click here on sort A to Z and I can see that five Nissans were sold I'll then go here to cell F16 I'll double click inside the cell press equals here I want the total money that was made from selling Mitsubishi in the month of March I need to use the sum ifs built in statistical function I begin with the sum range well it's in this range here D2 to D18 here is where I'll be adding the numbers up comma what am I looking for well I'm looking for Mitsubishi and I can find Mitsubishi here in this criteria range comma and it's there where I'm looking for the word Mitsubishi so I'll start with quote Mitsubishi close the quote comma get ready for the next argument and another criteria range of cells where I'm looking for the months comma and I'm looking for a particular month a month of March MAR close the quotes close the bracket and I press enter and this is the amount of money made from Mitsubishi sales in the month of March if I want the total number of Nissans sold for more than or equal to $25,000 well I go to F19 and here I use the count 
ifs function. And what I'll do is I'll go to the criteria range C2 to C18 and it's here where I'm looking for Nissan. And then I'll go to the sales data, comma, and in quotes, bigger than or equal to 25,000. Close the quotes, close the brackets, and that's the total number of Nissans sold for more than 25,000. And this is how you use these very important statistical functions.